have you been doing with your face? What have you been doing with your face since you've been in quarantine? I'm ready. Does anybody need time? I'm ready. You already went. Oh. Well, let's, Joey, you want to go? No, I want, you know, I watch nothing. So, I mean, I'm looking at the ocean now. And that's like, <laughs> that's yeah, the best that show right that there, Joey. Like our, is like our baby Yoda. He's just very peaceful. and <laughs> Zen master. <laughs> Kirsten, what are you watching? I uh, restarted Harry Potter from the beginning. So, I'm doing that and making the Legos at the same time. I savored the good place. I never watched the final season. So I'm watching the final season. I watched it from the beginning to the end. Highly recommend that right now in terms of morality tale. And it goes into like, do you know I read this article that The Good Place actually explores um, the prison system in America? And also, yeah, yeah. And uh, and also it goes through all this philosophy shit. It's so good. Um, and I have a couple of uh, dear comedy people that I love that are that that are make appearances on it. So um Good Place. And then what I do is I watch the shows on a loop. So meaning like I'll watch a, a half hour of The Good Place, a half hour of Parks and Rec, I'm re-watching, a half hour of The Office, I'm re-watching, a half hour of Seinfeld, I never watched the whole thing, but I loved it, um, a half hour of Curve Your Enthusiasm, a half hour of The Simpsons, and then I go back around. <laughs> so I'm full, like, only the happy shit, because that's all I can handle, plus Harry Potter, plus Lord of the Rings, uh, plus any Christopher Guest movie, and Schitt's Creek. Perfect. Yeah, people love that show. Um, I'm going to interject before AJ answers, which is um, Ashley Cano says the great thing is that a lot of schools in her area are giving food to anyone who will take it. She's not sure if other places are doing this as well, though. But maybe if people are listening and they know someone who works with the school system in their area, they can find out and push that information out. Because a lot of these schools buy these, like, they buy all this frozen food service items in bulk, right, that they're microwaving for the kids and everything like that. And who knows, the kids are probably going to go back to school until the fall. So they could probably give all that food to some things. So, you know, we're sometimes some of these things are as simple as picking up the phone. You think, well, I can't do anything. But you probably can. So it might be worth it if you're a parent or you have any relationship with your local um, school district to see if they can donate all of their food to a food bank. AJ, are you watching TV, or are you just trying to remember how to do fractions? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I haven't been watching much, mainly because our internet is so fabulous here. <laughs> but um, I have start. I just finished the final season, uh, season three of Ozark. <gasps> so did I. Dude. I mean. Um, unbelievable. I watch the darkest stuff. Like, I, I don't know. You know that Chris Mundy, who was a showrunner at Criminal Minds, was one of the people on that. Oh, I didn't know that. I did know that. It's, it's, I watch the darkest stuff, and I feel like, Kirsten, you probably, during this time, we should be watching, like, bright, up, optimistic places. But all I, I know. Like, Handmaid's Tale and Westworld and Ozark is just bleak, bleak, bleak. Um, Ugh. I, so my good. That. I mean, they're so good. This season of Ozark was so bananas. Yeah. Uh, Lauren Hyman says, in all caps, Ozark, yes. Oh, my gosh. And she is right. It's just bananas. How about Tiger King? Yo, who's watching Tiger King? <laughs> I got so pissed because I started Tiger King uh, uh, with my dude, and then I fell asleep, and then he had watched all six episodes. Of <laughs> oh, it's that thing where you're like, no, it can't get weirder. No, it can't get weirder. No, no, no. I gotta keep it can't get weirder. And it just it's your life watching that. What's that, Joey? I said I saw that one episode of my, my, my wife wanted to check that out. And I watched that first episode of it made me appreciate my life more watching that tiger guy. <laughs> okay. I said, Okay, I'm glad I'm Joe so as good. opposed to that Joe. Didn't it didn't it both kind of like make you that Joe and then wonder if you were really living your life to the fullest? Because like that guy was like a pop star and he had like tiger oh. pets and like Four like nineteen year old husbands and it's like doing <laughs> drugs off a of white. And maybe I maybe do want Joe to be Joe Exotic for Halloween. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. That would be well, really great. I'm, so I'm, Nate, I'm, Nate's friends have started calling him Nate Exotic. Absolutely <laughs> accurate. Completely called for. Totally co-signed. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but I did. Co-signed. Everyone is like, why? So when people were like, why? Uh, are, is it criminalized the show you're watching? And I'm like, uh, because we we lived it, guys. Like, don't take it personally, but like, we, we you can't. I used to tell people you have a choice. You have a choice. I can either watch it or act in it. Like, what do you want? But just like also like when you watch it, you're like I just did that. Like I remember. What, what do you What do you do for a living? Be like you watching watch... your own home movies. Yeah. 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 You want to watch a video of yourself like at, at you know what I mean? At, Here I am at, filing at, things in alphanumeric. No one wants. Order. I don't want to see that. No, no. Here I am, uh, sliding a 
tray of cookies into the oven at, uh, at the, the sandwich. Machine. You know what will be hilarious, though? One day, far, far, far from now, is watching Criminal Minds. <laughs> Which is like just that, right? a just marathon. Years from now, right? Like years from now to watch it. Years, like decades. You know, I like I think I that'll be a trip. I don't want so anybody to watching that. Because I, I, I feel very confident this is not going to happen. All right, so don't like freak out and please do not ask. I will not look at your app. I do not care. But it would be really funny to just like at some point down the stream, like live tweet an episode of the show, like all of us. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna at you. I'm gonna at you about that. Well, I'll look at your app because I love you, but I'm not looking at any fan app. Let's see if my hair changes to a third color. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was around before. It was around before iPhones. Yeah, I mean, we were holding we were holding trios for fuck's sake. Oh time. yeah, uh, Shamar had a flip phone. Remember his bat belt? Uh, he had like the flip phone. He had the uh, the razor. Do you remember the razor? Yep, the phone. I do. Oh, I know that razor well. He's oh, been man. well, We've by the way. So long. He has texted me. He has texted me a couple of times. He sends his love. I tried to get him. I was like. You know how cool it would be if you got on the phone with me and we did a thing? How? Oh, how, my gosh. How, how morale Great would be. Well, well, I want to say that um, the people that are not on this call, I mean, they don't love you. Some of them were not in a position to Zoom, and some people just don't love to Zoom, and that is okay. We never want to make anybody feeling like feel pressure to like be on the interwebs because there's so there's so much going on right now. Not everybody is in the same mental state as we are. But um, I love that every, all of you guys are visiting us. I want to remind you of the charity, which is Feeding America. It's at feedingamerica.org. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever you can do would be great. I think Kirsten made a good example. What if you gave as much as you would spend on a week's worth of groceries? Because that could be a week's worth of groceries for several families. Um, and it's crazy right now. We can't really volunteer. But I think one thing that will be really exciting to do, I have actually a girlfriend who has been volunteering this entire time. She doesn't have any children. Her and her spouse kind of made a deal. She's been wearing, you know, protective gear, and she's been doing that. I'm not going to encourage anybody to go out and volunteer right now because I think that's pretty risky behavior. Everybody has to make their own decisions, but some people are doing that, and I think that they are um, there to be admired. People are out there on the front lines making sure that hungry families are getting what they need. Um, and uh, Kirsten's spirits company is thinking out. Um, thinking out. Well, we we don't we're not making spirits right now. Although you can actually order our spirits online, but I wouldn't order our spirits online. I would order Courage and Stone because it's already made for you, and you can get that online and have it sent to your house. And uh, thirty percent of the profits go to the bartenders guild. So I would do that. But if you need to buy <laughs> hand sanitizer. Kirsten huh? has turned her company into a hand sanitizing making company. You need hand sanitizer, you should go to us. And yeah. it's been really, really you exciting. I awesome. haven't been able to, huh? huh? You're amazing. You're well, all amazing. All, I, I didn't all do anything. Dolls. You know what I did? Do you know what I did? And then I'm pretty proud of, and I'm a little drunk, which is Aisha's fault, but I will Girl share drunk. I'm not just, we, not just drunk, I'm drunk. No, as, as, <laughs> as, as, as with Aisha will attest to, owning a booze company is tricky and expensive and you are doing it because you love it, not because you're going to make a shit ton of profit on it. And we were in a really weird space. And when this whole thing happened about a week before Garcetti even put the shutdown on, Robin, who's one of the people I work with, used to work in the medical field. And she was like, we should make sanitizer, but we don't have any money. And Criminal Minds money. So everybody who's watching this thing right now, that's the reason why we were able to make hand sanitizer. Because I was able to pull a huge chunk of money out of my bank account and throw it at the distillery. So we were able to buy a bunch of chemicals that are in compliance with the WHO, which is an amazing organization. Yes, and should no matter what anybody funded, says. Should continue to be funded. They are saving yes, and, time. And, and it, it adheres to their standards. And we're making hand sanitizer that every single nonprofit and restaurant can pretty much get for free. And the only place we're, we're charging is places that have funds. But we're giving it away. We just sent gallons and gallons of it to a bunch of restaurants in San Francisco and um, gallons and gallons of, of it to, to different hospitals, Cedar sinai Children's Hospital, Salvation Army. And um, But I think that that's a testament. I think every business can be doing this right now. We can all we can all do our part. And, and, yeah. and I want everybody to know when you're listening, whether you feel like you're able to do a lot, you're able to do very little, or you can't do anything at all right now. Don't feel anxious about that. Everybody's going through this in a different way. Everybody's feeling a different way about it. Yeah. Some people, for some people, it's an opportunity. For some people, it's creating a lot of anxiety. Don't feel like you have to feel any no. pressure to do anything more than what you're able to do. Yeah, um, you participate where you're at. Like, if you're in the, you have to either learn the art of asking 
or the art of receiving, and you figure out where you're at, and you do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I love you guys so. Uh, that's why I loved all three you, you girls, and then and and our our missing pop tarts as well. So this is this is why anybody watching this can understand why why we're all so close and why you, you just. Anyway, I'm proud. and thank you, Ayesha, for, for making this happen today. Oh, I love you guys. I'm, I'm, I can't. It's everyone saying this is their favorite cast, but like, guys, it's I, you. We love each other very much. We all feel very fortunate that we were able to have this extraordinary experience. So thanks for hanging out with us today. The next happy hour, uh, I'll, I'll post. It's gonna be. Um, I think it's going to be, oh, I don't know. I haven't picked the charity yet. I haven't picked any of it yet, but I'm excited. So follow me. Follow everybody online. Say hi to them. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, CurtainStone.com, FeedingAmerica.org. Uh, is it BlinkingOwl.com? BlinkingOwl.com. BlinkingOwlDistillery.com. BlinkingOwlDistillery.com. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.